to recycle it and got these old recycling books, different sizes, different depths, and they're just being thrown there, got going to waste. So we're going to take these books, we're going to work on them, we're going to turn them into a work of art. Uh, embellish them with pieces of copper and you know that nice writing and rivets. Hopefully they'll, they'll turn out well. And that's what the film's about, so you'll see it as it goes along in stages, as we build it up, and hopefully at the end of the film, we'll have something nice to show. So, uh, Michael, what are you going to do next with the book? Yeah, uh, I've got to draw a design, and I have to cut out a triangle. I'm getting the acrylic eye done. It's fairly in flux at the moment, as I go on. Yeah. Okay. Innovating in design. Okay. Hello, this is stage two of the book. We cut out a triangle just here, set some wire in it, and staple it in from the back. I also put some straps on from an old handbag I found, and a small piece of copper symbols. Just glue it on with some wood glue. We also cut out a small little keyhole area here, which has been riveted in, and set in the back of it is a small piece of copper just to highlight the hole itself. We're using some raw umber to highlight the edges of the book, and it ages the uh, book and the look of the book. It's the antique dealer's friend, so I've heard. And, uh, it does actually add a nice little touch to it, you know, it does age it very, very well. We also put some copper just around the edges, just to, to, to highlight the triangle again. So, and then staple it in with a small bit of cord around the edges, which we will be aging afterwards, of course. So, we have, we're planning on riveting, putting small rivets here, small rivets there, and rivets there, and maybe some sort of a, a metal plate at the back, maybe a copper plate. But so we're just like dabbing this raw umber just round the edges, just to, to age it a slight bit and highlight it all, and just to add a bit, bit of age to it. So. Right, we're getting to the stage now where we're going to look at the spine of the book. And originally in the drawings we were going to uh, use a little copper plaque just at the front, but actually ran out of space, so we're going to be putting on the spine as I say. So we got a small piece of uh, copper, cut it out, and we inscribed it. And the inscription is, The Gilmore of Lost Souls, Necromancer, Warlock, and Sage. And I inscribed my own name on it, which is a bit of a thing, but I did, did all the same. So now we're going to put a small little rivet here, a little way rivet here. We have the holes rivet are all ready. And it's just... If the rivets don't hold, which they should do, but if they don't hold, we'll be putting a bit of uh, glue on the backpack just to make, make sure it's nice and flat and secure. So this is the that that is the, the next stage. So we see how that works out, and we'll be back to you and show you how, how it's all you know how it all works out. So this. How are we doing? We're at the stage where we're virtually at the end of the book now. 
So what I did was I, on the inside of the book, I cut out a small triangle. I got some lollipop sticks in triangular shape just to keep the, yeah, for, for the pieces that I'm actually putting into to the book, which were two little beads just to give some light on the book, as you can see, as I'm closing it. A small tensromic head, and this here is a small piece of curtain that I had at home. So we glued all this in with a bit of uh, uh, epoxy glue, just to make sure it all stayed in, in one piece. And then on the, the side of it, with the brass plaque, I just aged it a slight bit more. So if you want to actually see the inscription, there's a slight inscription on it, you have to look closely. Because, you know, as you know, like things age, they get like musty and old. So I think I got the effect there. Now, on the inside, just to finish it out, I haven't got it done quite yet. Yes, I'm going to try and find a photocopy of an old map and just lay it over here, over the tri triangle, and here, so I can just open it out and close it like that. So that's basically the book finished. So there we are, we just close it over like that. As you can see, it's really easy to close. And sorry about that. <laughs> and there you go. Right, here we are again. And we have finished the book. This is the end product. This is all recyclable. Everything we got here is recyclable. The books, the straps, even the map on the inside, which I hadn't shown you before. We just glued an old map onto the inside of it. And we have it all. So you could actually add extras to it. I was thinking about maybe putting some spells or putting some things in there that you could bury into it and make it into a small safe. But this is the end product, so, you know. I think it came out very well, and, you know, I'm happy with the result. So, there are other people, and they have other books out there, and you'll see them as you go along, so. There we go. go.